It's good morning, good afternoon, good evening from me to you. This is Danny Fish TV. My name is Danny E, and I'm popularly known as All Smiles. Like this program, share it, let it go viral. Uh, subscribe. It's very, very important. Subscribe, smash on the notification bell so when I come up with a video anytime in the day, you'll be the first to be notified. Go to the comment section, say whatever you feel like to say based on what I'm going to say today. Whatever you feel like to say, say it there. We, we engage ourselves. We are family. We talk as one people. Okay? Like this program. Like it. Very, very important. All right. You all know my topic. The Bible and man. Or man and the Bible. Whichever way you feel like to put it. So the same thing. Right? Um... Today, I'll be talking about uh, um, a topic I titled um, Misleading Titles of Sermons in Churches. Titles that mislead people. They, they don't correspond with what the actual program they have on Sunday services. It's not... It's not all churches, basically, but most churches, especially the ones in Europe, because they are used to a particular system binding and casting demons, you know. And they, when they came, when they when they came to this, they have come to this country or they arrive here, they discover that a lot of things that don't happen in Africa. They see them here, the basic amenities, things that you need to survive with in life. You find them here, or like in Africa. Okay, so it makes they, it makes them not able to get... I don't see where they can get any kind of topic they want to discuss in their synagogues. So what they do, they, they, they take their brain back home and begin to bring those topics in Africa or in Nigeria that is basically casting demons, destroying darkness and killing Jezebel spirits <laughs> and all that. See, let me tell you guys. The spirit of Jezebel, where the Jezebel is named from? It's the white people. Okay? Jezebel is not an African. From the onset, it's not an African. Go to the story, it's not an African. Now, there is no Jezebel in Europe. The, among the white people, you see one person say Jezebel, and I begin to cast that Jezebel out of that. But Africans now do have Jezebels, that they cast Jezebels. Where did they originate from? Not from Africa. You see, you will use, you think you will see one European coming to cast the spirit of Shaka the Zulu out of a European. I cast the spirit of Shaka the Zulu out of you now. <laughs> we have problem. We Africans, we have problem. We don't take our time to, when we study, we don't take our time to digest these things and reason it the other way. We just hear anything and we jump like cockroaches. You understand? Which is wrong. I went to, I, I, don't, I don't want to play the video. I have a video of it, but I wouldn't want to play. This is my own person. It's my brother. My younger brother, I went to his child education in one of these churches. I was just laughing because <laughs> basically they were even using me as prayer points <laughs> because they know me as a YouTuber. Like what I say about these things they do, they, they are using me. There's no topic. And they saw me there, I became a prayer point. <laughs> Sweet of Jezebel. I'm not a Jezebel. I was just laughing. These people, they are so stupid. So very stupid. They don't have anything to tell anybody. You understand? Serving God is good. But know what you are telling the people. Make sure what you are telling people. We grow the people physically. Not this spiritual jargon. Spiritual nonsense people keep talking about. This is the spiritual spirituality that built Europe. I keep telling people. We started talking when I came out of the church. Somebody was engaging me once. I said, listen. This place you are today, we don't have this kind of environment in Africa. Why? It's because we are not planning. We keep on shouting and calling Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, and kabashing and those are our nonsense. 
but yet Africa still remains the way Africa is. And these people don't even make, they were white people in the two white people in the church. They were amazed. They, they, they couldn't do what we were doing. They were like looking at us. I was telling my wife, I said, These people look at them now. They're surprised. They don't even know what we are doing. These are people that brought this same thing that we are preaching or we are using, this tool we are using. They brought it. But they were amazed looking at what are these guys doing? What are they saying? These two people are more productive and more prosperous than we that is mentioning the Holy Ghost. Does that not send a message to you? So I, I looked at it. I said, let me just bear for a while. It's my brother's uh, show. Let me stay there and see what we'll <laughs> get to the end. But I know that a topic of that day will not correspond with the program. And when it got to when he passed on to preach, you know, <laughs> when, he, when he mentioned the, ser the sermon for the day, I was just laughing. That has to do with the program. The program that is child dedication. Why not tell people the importance of child dedication? What child dedication is all about? You are bringing topic that has to do with demonic What It's only demonic we know. In Africa, just demons. Everybody, people that don't align with you, they are demons. Once they don't align with you, they become demons. They now turn to demons. It's only you that is righteous, only you that is clean. People have problem, serious problem that you have to deal with it. You have to deal with it and get out of that nonsense that you guys are doing. You are, you are telling people about time. What time? Don't you know about time? Time will come, you will die. Time will come, I will die. Everybody come and go. This nonsense you keep telling people and threatening people, you put fear into people, they, they will be afraid. The kingdom of God. It's at hand, so you don't do fast, you die. God will kill you. God has created naturally how a man will live old and die. It's a law, it's there. You must follow your body, does not have the power to resist it. When it when you get old to that mosaic age, you go quietly. If you don't go that age, maybe something happened along the line. Maybe you travel, you had an accident, die early age, or you fall sick and die early age, or whatever. This is can happen. Okay? But the normal age for man to die is that mosaic age 120, 130, or 140, or thereabout. Your body will be weak, everything will be finished. That's how God has created it, or nature has created man to live. Don't stop threatening people because we don't have these basic amenities that will keep us safe to that age. That's why people die in here in Africa. People don't die in here. People don't just die in here. The way we, we people die in Africa. You're casting Jezebel's spirit. Are you? You are telling lies. You you lie like the way fish drink water in the river. That's how you tell lies. And you are a pastor's wife. You own microphone every day and be preaching. And you lie like foul. And you are talking about Jezebel. You are condemning. <laughs> oh God. I just it's just that you guys are very lucky that that story they said uh, uh, Elijah called fire from heaven. Me, I don't believe in all those two kind of talk. Maybe magic happened or whatever. But if actually God did that in time of hold, if God begin to do it, most of you will run away from these lies that you go to the altar and tell. Because God will bring the fire and burn you. Outside the altar, you lie in here. If I oh, suppose you here and I bring video, uh, uh, bring record and uh, recording here yeah, we spoke, you'll be people will be amazed and hear your voice. So you are talking nonsense. Then do what do the lie that you? If I bring you that video to to show everybody that you lied, a pastor's wife, you'll be amazed. I don't want to. I don't want to go that far. I don't want to go that far with you. I don't want to go that deep with you. I don't do all those things, mentioning people's names. But when I'm talking, you know I'm talking to you. You guys just do nonsense. I think you are. You think you, you, you just come and say, God called you. Where did God? God, which place? Come and prove it that God called you guys. Told you guys, time with that number, many times than once, that God has called all man. From your mother's womb, you have been called. There's no person, specially, that God just called. See, this person, I, mm -mm, he called everybody. You only need to take the decision and follow that line. Say, okay, this is the line I want to follow now. You now follow it. There are people that are following you. You now become like a, when they believe you, you become like a God to them. They will respect you. I call the respect to you, spiritually, physically, and otherwise, because they believe in what you are doing. 
That's the power you have. You need to take those crowd, those population out of you. You are nothing. If they remove that population, the biggest church in Nigeria, if they remove the population from that pastor right now, that pastor will be empty. It will be nothing. No regard, no respect. Nobody will accord anything to him. But because the people that are surrounded in that gaga around him, they are much. So those people, will, they, is the respect that is that those people, they, they are for him. That's why you see that that uh, 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 glory upon him. Those people just think, you don't think well, just talk anyhow. Go to the altar and start preaching nonsense. You guys should try and help yourself, right? Help yourself and change. All the same, um, let me draw the cuts and close here. Yeah, I don't want to bring videos and come and be showing people some kind of things. No, you guys will get tired of some like churches because they will provoke me to one extent. I'll be mentioning names. I'll not call you churches or call their names. And nothing will happen. Because they'd be there and be misbehaving. Talk of uh, 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 Jezebel spirit and uh, you, you that is. <laughs> you that gossip like no man's business. A pastor's wife. You can stay in your car and be with one person for one, two hours, three hours. Uh, somebody will drive past you like ten times. You are still there gossiping with, person, with somebody. You are talking about Jezebel spirit. Because you are in the altar deceiving people. Stupid people. Let me leave you guys here. My, don't forget, subscribe to this program. I know a lot of people, a lot of people will be looking at what this guy is saying. Those that know, they understand. Okay? Subscribe. Subscribe to this channel. Go into Uko Podanifis TV and smash on the notification bell. So I come up with the video in time, you'll be the first to be notified. Like this program. Share it. Let it go viral. Go to the comment section. Based on what I just said now, say anything there. We engage ourselves as a family that we are. All right? Don't forget one important thing. I love you all so much. I'm going to engage with this program. Alright? Don't touch that dial. Okay, come your way again. It's bye for now. I'm coming to that video. Now, 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 you see another video again. Right? Just stay tuned. Alright, bye.